All right, well, earlier this year, we brought you a story about a man from Nashville who was told by many doctors he needed to have both of his legs amputated. He suffered from a common cardiovascular blockage, but then he found a doctor in Homa who saved both of his legs. Tonight, Meg Ferris has an update about what happened after our story ran. Retired Louisiana history professor Dr. Paul Leslie will soon get rid of his walker and play golf again. But not long ago, he thought he'd never walk on his own two legs again. The number one thing is we can amputate. <laughs> you talk about being hit with a nuclear bomb. I mean, my whole family went, I still can't. Mm -hmm. It really was upsetting. I get it. An old college football knee injury at Mizzou forced him to finally need a knee replacement last year. But it became infected, and after a dozen surgeries, it would never heal. But then, while he was mostly bedridden, the home care nurse helped him get in touch with interventional cardiologist Dr. Craig Walker of HOMA. He discovered that Dr. Leslie had PAD. If you lose a limb, you're more likely to lose your life. Peripheral artery disease, or PAD, is when the vessels in your legs are clogged. Dr. Leslie's knee could not heal because there was no circulation. For 19 years at his new Cardiovascular Horizons conference, Dr. Walker's been teaching thousands of doctors from around the world the many different treatments that can get the blood circulating again, so they don't need to resort to amputation. Last year, Fred Goat of Nashville told us his story of Dr. Walker saving both his legs, and after the story ran, his office got more than a thousand calls. Within a week and a half, there were over 100 patients who were told their only option was amputation, who came that were evaluated and treated. And of those, exactly zero, exactly zero, ended up with an amputation. Along with no hair growing on your legs or cramping when you walk, Dr. Walker says a simple exam can catch PAD early. I can put my finger on a foot pulse. And so by simple physical exam, I can identify a high risk patient and that results in starting that patient on treatment and often saving their lives. And that one treatment got Dr. Leslie's blood flowing again. But now after what Dr. Walker did, the wound cleaned up, he filled in. You wouldn't even know there was anything there right now. It's incredible. It's, it's miraculous. It's yeah. divine intervention. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. Well, blockages in the leg vessels are more common than blockages that cause heart attacks. And lately, more women are getting PAD, which is more deadly than breast and cervical cancers combined.